dear loved ones, thank you for watching. I'm Kaya Zignamari from Heart to Heart. I'm back with a video about <laughs> all what's going on at the moment. Well, about what's going on in my life, what I realized, what is in the collective as well, as I speak with soul family friends and find a lot of similarities. So, for those who are following my articles on my page, you know that I'm kind, I live in a relationship, I still live in this relationship and live together with a man and realized in the summer that this relationship has finished after a lot of really, really challenging experiences with a man and since then a lot happened and I prefer now to say that form of relationship we had is finished or has finished. Not that we have stepped out fully but um, this is what's coming through or what I realized more and more as I see myself behaving, living completely different and doing this separation when you call it like this completely different than all my separations before in this lifetime <laughs> as, as I am so and what I realized that there is nothing fixed that there is nothing there is not one truth and this is a truth that stays and lasts forever so for sure there there is a lot of love between this man and me still and I've got the feeling this will never end. That's not the point. The point is that the way we live together is absolutely not any longer functioning. Not for me, not for him. And for sure it's based on on old behaviors and old belief systems as well. So um, what I worked with a lot of practitioners in the last time with soul family, got a lot of feedback, got readings to get into this and it was interesting as I got sometimes really contradictionous informations. From one person I got the information, this is really, it's, it's over, the soul contract is finished. We have done what we have to do and we have experienced what we have to experience to grow and to go on and to come back to ourselves in this lifetime. Then I got the information from another another beautiful person that um, there's a lot that this can change and it's up to me and it's based on what made so much sense for me on having a look if I can believe that it could change because as long as I see uh, and look and feel myself in the old templates it, it can't change, <laughs> obviously not. And well, to come to the point, what I realized and what I saw so much in, in the last sessions I gave, the heart-to-heart -heart connections with beautiful souls, beautiful people, but what is in the collective, and so for sure I'm asked to go there as well, it's really to, to go inside, to listen to myself, to trust, to have faith, to stay open whatever will happen that it has to happen and even when it's at the moment about visioning how we want to live and how I want to live, how I wish to live, what I would love to experience in this lifetime, to stay open that the way <clears throat> to go there could be completely another one that I, I can imagine. And, and to see that all the informations I get and that I that seems so contradictive, so for my mind says, well, when it's over, because why, why is there another way? And then my mind goes crazy, as the mind likes to, to do. And then to come back to myself and to feel and to breathe, feel my feet on the, on the ground and see that that all these informations I got are reflections of parts in myself. 
and there's not one knowing. It's not, it is like this and it will be like this. There is for sure a knowing in myself and, and I've got um, so many experience in my daily life that how we used to live together, how this relationship used to function is really not any longer working for me. And then I can open up and see if another way of functioning is possible, but for sure just from my perspective. Well, there's still a part in me that wants the other one to behave different, to be different, to make their work, to to um, to have a look inside the other person, what needs to be seen, to resolve, to integrate it. I, um, I know this very well, and 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 I go stuck when I stay there. <laughs> There's nothing changing and even this information that I have to change my whole belief system and then my external world will follow. It's a beautiful information but in a way to totally confusing. Oh, it's not the information that is confusing. What I do with the information is confuse myself. And for sure, what, what my first reaction is always when I hear what I have to see, what I have to integrate, or when I, when I get information and it resonates, what's always, always important. Just to have a look when we get information from practitioners, from friends, from other persons, if there's a resonance here. And when there's a resonance, then it's always worse to have a deeper look. Well, so what I, I do to myself to myself, with myself, I confuse myself. I've got this information. I confuse myself. And then, then there's panic coming up and I think, okay, okay, it makes resonance. I have to, to change something immediately. If not, it's too late. And for me, it needs always some days to realize, okay, <laughs> I can take time. And that I need time. And that it's about letting informations really come in and and work with the resonance, having a look. Why is this resonating here? What, what is the point? What is the point? What do I need to see? And it's often, really often a, a protection and, and see that I have invented to behave in a certain way like a child in an amazing way. I always say what we invent like child to survive is so beautiful and incredible creative as well. And we have to be really proud of ourselves and these little ones being in a way all alone. If they wouldn't be alone, if there would be a person present, they wouldn't have the need to um, invent this behaviors, protection systems. So to be proud of this little one, of this little Kaya. And then, then it's like doing steps. So what, what does she need to change this behavior, to change this belief system that she is just lovable, love, lovable <laughs> when, when she behaves in, in this way. And it's a way, it's always a way. And yeah, I wanted to to share this with you. Maybe this resonates for you that that really we are so asked at the moment to look inside, to go inside. And it's good to get informations and to get confirmations from the outside. And when we are at the moment we feel really stuck and nothing is moving and it's stuck always this is when the most is happening and we have the feeling we need help, support and it's always good to call a friend or get in contact with a practitioner, practitioner, always. And then have an exchange and then come back to yourself and listen to yourself and go inside and, and trust of the wisdom of your heart, even even when you don't know in this moment how this what could be what could be different 
how this could look like, how you can come there. This is the next step of trust, to trust that that you will go there in your own pace, with your own, own um, what's the word? In your own wisdom. This is this. <laughs> so, I think this was what I love to share. I will have a look that I will do this video in German and in French as well. I don't know if you know, I'm German, living since seven years in France, speaking all these languages. And for me, the most common and, and used way to, to share on my page is in English. I know that, that most of the people having a look there are English-speaking people. And uh, I've got the information I have to open up and and to share in my mother language, in German. But it's interesting, it's really a challenge for me. And also in French. What's another challenge? A beautiful one. So, well, thank you for watching. I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're making your steps, your baby steps, your big steps, your shifts, your falling down, coming back, feeling, breathing, visioning. If you have the feeling you could need support, um, please contact me. You will find all the information in the description box below and on my Heart to Help Facebook page. You will find the link there as well. And I send you all my love and have courage and be proud of you, how far you have come. <laughs>